Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and I've recently been getting a lot of questions about the numbering of the chords. I refer to chords as the one chord, the four chord, the five chord, the six chord, the seven chord, whatever. And people are like, oh, like, uh, what do you mean by that one chord business? And so I'm going to explain that to you in this video. So let's head over to the grease board. So here we are at the grease board. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at just one string at a time. So this is the string. This would be the nut or the zero fret, whatever you wanna call it. And these would be the frets. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 frets. So the open string, we're gonna call that the one. Now here's the pattern. The pattern is gonna go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. That's the pattern. So whole step is an H, whole step, whole step, oh, I'm sorry, whole step is with a W. Because you spell whole, W-H-O-L-E, not H-O-L-E. So whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And then you're back to your one again. So this is also a one. Um, so these are the steps. Now a whole step is when you step over a note. So you can see here I'm stepping over this note here. That's a whole step. A half step is when you go to the, to the next note. I think they call that a semitone or a tone. I just call them whole steps or half steps. So, so memorize this, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. These are the steps. Okay, so next, we're going to start looking at the notes. So I'm gonna fill in the notes. All right, this scale right here is also known as the major scale. The major scale. And when you play this scale, you'll, you'll instantly recognize the sound. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, whatever. Um, so this is the major scale. major scale formula is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Now, as far as the numbers go, this is real simple, guys. This is real easy. It's just going to go numerically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you can call this eight if you wanted to or you could call it one now if you're going to keep if you're going to call it continue eight then then the next one here would be nine ten eleven twelve thirteen etc right so um like when you hear ninth chords or eleventh chords or thirteenth or whatever like that those those are extensions above the octave here okay so but we're not going to worry about that right now we are just going to worry about one octave, and like I said, you can call this eight or one, it doesn't matter, it's the root. So you can also call this the root. The root of the key that you're in. And whatever key you're in is gonna be whatever note this is tuned to, right? So if this is tuned to E, then it would be E major, and E would be our root. If we're tuned to G, G, D, G, or whatever, then the key that we're in would be G 
major. This would be a G major scale if we were in, if this is tuned to G. Whatever note that this is tuned to is going to be the key that you're in. So that's where these numbers come from here. So when I say the four chord, I'm talking about this chord here, the four chord. Okay, that's the four chord. If I was to talk, that, that, that would be the fifth fret. The four chords of the fifth fret. If I was talking about the five chord, then that would be here at the seventh fret, the five chord. If I was talking about the sixth chord, then it would be here. Um, so it's pretty, pretty, um, I wanna say simple, self-explanatory. Um, here's the next thing, is that each one of these chords or each one of these notes is going to be either a major or a minor. And so here is another, a very important piece of information here. Let me erase this, get this out of the way here. So this is another thing worthy of memorization. Memorize this, kids. So the first note here, it's a major, and I'm gonna do a big M for major. That means that the chord is major. The two chord here is minor. I'll do that by a little M, minor. The three chord is also minor. The four chord is major. The five chord is major. The six chord is minor. The seven chord, this is an interesting one. It's a minor. It's got a minor seven with a flat five. There's that's We're not gonna worry about that right now. And then go back to this, the eight, which is the same as the one. And that's major. So you're gonna see this symmetry here. You're gonna see two halves basically, right? You can see that major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, minor, major. Notice the chords that are the major chords. It's the one, the four, and the five. And so in, in our blues progressions, one, four, five, those are the chords that we're using. The one chord, the root, the four chord, and the five chord, all the major chords in the key. So there you have it, kids. The major scale, the steps, the chords, the numbers. And if you want to do a screen capture of this, then to study it, I would recommend that's probably good, a good idea because this information, my friends, is good information, if I do say so myself. So I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who are wondering, why are these majors and why are these minors? What's the difference? Good question. I'm glad you asked. Let me show you here. For that, I will need the red magic marker. Okay, so the major or the minor is gonna be determined by where is the third? The third, what do you mean? Okay, you see the, th see the three here? This is the third of the root. So the third is, is gonna be two notes above that. So in this case here, when I jump over two whole steps, that's what they call a major third. So that's why this one is major, is because its third is, re is located two whole steps above the root. So when you go to the two chord, it's minor. And why is it minor? Well, it's minor because, I'll go to green. Its third is a step and a half. See that, a step and a half. So when you have a step and a half, it's a minor third. When you have two whole steps, it's a major third. Ah, that's pretty cool. So you go to the three chord. Here's the three chord. Well, look, it's, its third is a step and a half. So it also is minor. Now, when you get to the four chord, remember it's major. And you can see clearly that its third, go back to the red, is two whole steps above its root. Then you go to the five chord. Look at that, it's major, and of course its third is two whole steps above its root. You go to the six chord, it's minor. And you can see clearly that the 
third above the sixth chord is a step and a half. Now, if I was to continue this on and go to the 13th and 14th and 15th and 16th fret, this scale is just going to repeat over here. You can see here that this, the seven chord here, it's minor, and you can see it's third is a step and a half above that one. And then we get back to our root here again. This is our root. Again, our root. And our root is major, boom, because it's third is a whole, and you can see that here again also, it's third is a two steps above its root. So when you're talking about the chords, each chord is considered a root of, it, of the chord. So in its major third is gonna be uh, related to that note. All right, so that is why each one of these chords has its name. It's because of the location of its third in relationship to its, its specific root of the chord. Does that make sense? I hope it does. All right, so here's the example in real time. So I'm tuned to open G. So this would be the one, the two, three, the four, the five, the six, the seven, and the double dot is the root again. So I can do one finger chords. So I would refer to this as the one, the four, five, four, one. One would also be up here. Six. Three, four, one. Now here's how you can make the chord either major or minor. Remember I told you that the third is what makes a chord major or minor? So if I put my third here on the high string, again, two whole steps above the root, it's major. Jingle bells, jingle bells. That's the major third. If the third is a step and a half above the root, then it's minor. Minor chord. So, the, so in this case here, when we're talking about the major scale, the, the one chord is major. Now the two chord is minor. So I would do a bar, and then I would put my third, my minor third, a step and a half above the root. And this is the way it sounds. And you can hear that minor quality. Three chords minor. The four chord is major, so I'm going to put my third two whole steps. One, two, two whole steps above the root. The five chord is also major, so its major third is two whole steps above its root. The sixth chord is minor, so its minor third, its third is a minor third above. The seventh chord is also minor, so it's also. Of course, it has a flat five, so technically, this note here is flattened. And then obviously the, the root, or the eight, is also a major chord. All right, guys, there you have it. Root, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. All right, if you like this video, be sure to sh share, subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. Don't forget about Patreons and checking out the other lit, uh, playlists I have, video, other videos I have. Hope you learned something. Hope you're inspired. See you in the next video. Thank you.
Peace out.